and Amy here with another aha moment. This one's kind of different because it is something that basically, well, I guess it is an aha moment. It occurred to me when I was out walking my dog, Duncan, which I do every day, and I started thinking about one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, I will tell you I have two, but this one's actually my absolute favorite, and it is Mary Poppins. Now, many of you probably have heard of Mary Poppins, um, and I always thought that I loved the movie because, you know, the, the kids end up having this wonderful, loving relationship with this woman, and then, you know, they end up connecting with their parents, and everything's happy-go-lucky, and life is fun. She makes life fun, and that's why I thought I liked the movie. Um, but it occurred to me today that actually, is it a metaphor for something else? This is where it gets so cool. I, I just had to share. So, you know, for those of you who, who might not remember the movie so well, um, about two children that are looked after by a nanny. And the nannies that their parents hire are not the nicest of people, let's face it. They're strict and they're mean and they're not very nice. And so they sit down, the, the boy and the girl, they sit down and they decide they're going to write down all the qualities that they want in, their, in the perfect nanny for them. So they write down all these qualities and they go to their dad and they hand it to their dad. And the, for those of you that remember the movie, the dad's like, ah, rubbish. And he throws it in the fire and it burns and the ashes go up the chimney and out into the universe. And then what happens? They go about their daily business. They don't give it another thought. And Mary Poppins appears on their front door. So you're like, okay, Amy, you just gave me a, you know, a, a, a snippet of what that movie was. What was your aha moment? So my aha moment was maybe it's my favorite because my soul has been telling me for years about law of attraction. Wait, wait. Is that not a, an example of law of attraction? Do we not learn that in order to attract the things that we want, we need to focus on them, we need to write them down, we need to be very specific? So here the children wrote it down. They imagined her down to the voice and the songs that she would sing with them and how she would take them out to play. And so they, they manifested Mary Poppins. They gave it to their dad and their dad was like, Poof, and he threw it and it went into the universe. And then they surrendered and they're like, I guess we're not going to get it or whatever. It was nice. It was fun um, to imagine the perfect, the perfect person to take care of us. So then she shows up at the door. I thought that was brilliant because you know, back in the 60s or whenever that movie was created, did they really know about law of attraction back then? Was the movie actually an example of law of attraction and how to manifest things that we want in our lives? So it just got me thinking. There are many examples that we are drawn to in our life and we need to be open and receptive to what those messages are and maybe just maybe. Now, maybe it's a far reach. Maybe I'm just a little cuckoo and a little wackadoo. And if you think that that's perfectly okay. But maybe from a very early age, it was an example of the law of attraction. And it attracted me for me to pay very close attention. I thought it was an aha moment that I just had to share. Why don't you look at some of the things that you love, either about your childhood or even right now, and see if they aren't the universe trying to whisper something to you or trying to show you something that you just couldn't wrap your head around. Let me know. I'll be happy to, I'll be interested to see.